Well, if you're a fossil, you know you've really made it when you appear in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology. And a whole bunch of Australian fossils have just made the cover. They include 15 million year old sheep sized wombats with enough skeletons to chart them from pouch bound babies to geriatric giants. The material comes from the World Heritage listed Riversley Fossil Field near Mount Isa in Queensland. Jeff Sims reports. What was it, this prehistoric creature that ended up encased, preserved in limestone? Here we have an animal that's somewhat sheep-like in its size, it's a plant eater, doing strange things. We refer to them as long-legged wombats, um, just because that's probably what they look like. Like modern-day wombats, nimbodons were not burdened with brains, but there were lots of them. It probably was um, roaming around in mobs like modern-day grey kangaroos. Conveniently for today's paleontologists, enough of them stumbled into a hole and were trapped in the cave below. The scientists have 26 skulls at the University of New South Wales, and complete skeletons are emerging from the stone. We've got a range of, of ages from pouch young that were still suckling in their mother's pouch right up until elderly adults, and that hasn't been found before. The Nimbodon may have stolen the headlines, but not the entire show. It's not unusual for animals to die falling into a cave. Most would drown or die of starvation. But the way one small Tasmanian tiger was found has led the scientists to call it the philosophical thylacine. Perhaps resigned or fatalistic would be better. And it had folded its arms and put its head down on its arms and just gone for a little 15 million years sleep until we found it and woke it up again. Fanciful? Maybe. But to most of us, this is just a lump of limestone. Jeff Sims, ABC News.